So in that church where you attend, they invite visitors to come and eat the food that you are eating that is blessed by the pastor. Even a visitor is invited, even if one does not want to, the person is asked to eat. But here in the Catholic Church is different. We are not just eating any food blessed by the priest. We are eating the body and drinking the blood of Jesus. Because when he instituted the priest rule, he said, Take this is my body, eat. He said, Take this is my blood, drink. And so it is the body and blood of Jesus when it's consecrated by a priest. That's why a spiritual personnel in the Catholic Church is called a priest. And a pastor out there is called a pastor because a priest offers sacrifice. And so the sacrifice is the sacrifice of the body and blood of Jesus. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse number 27, Paul was aware of this fact. He says, whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of our Lord Jesus, in an unworthy manner receive condemnation upon his or her life. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 27. That's why an announcement always precedes the reception of the body and blood of Jesus. That those who are Catholics that are not communicants cannot come to receive the body and blood of Jesus. Even if you are a communicant, if you judge yourself unworthy, you have been without confession for a very long time, you cannot come. That's why we always make this announcement. Somebody always did a spiritual somersault. And listen to me, I'm not threatening you. Many of you would have been here when that old woman came and received the body and blood of Jesus and she broke right there. She couldn't stay, she couldn't walk back to her seat with her legs. She had walked to the altar to receive with her legs. Immediately she received, she fell right there. And began to shout that she cannot walk. And peace prayers were offered over her. Then she got herself and went back. I am not threatening you, it's what happened life. And for some people who come and who want to try God, you will have yourself to blame. If perhaps you receive without knowing, the mercy is there. But if you are coming that you want to try God, God will find you. 1 Corinthians 11, 27. So a lady came to receive the body and blood of Jesus. And I asked, I don't know what happened. The Spirit just told me, no, she's not a communicant. And I said, I tried to like to inquire, to probe. I said, are you a communicant? She asked me that, what is that? I said, where do you go to church? She called one church. So many people, because the church they attend, when they go to church, when the pastor blesses that food, is given to everybody. Even if you are a visitor, you are just visiting. Even if you are not a member of that church, you say, I just came to church. They say, no, you can't eat, you must eat. No, here is not like that. So we want to make this clarification. That's why it's always announced. My brothers and sisters, the Lord, let us learn wisdom. 
Information is very key. If you don't possess it, you may, you may kill yourself. So wherever you go and they are giving information, you have to be on a lot in order to understand that information. Listen to me. If you go to the airport, you want to travel, hey, you have to grow your antennas. To pay attention, if you mess up, you will miss your flight. Information is very key. And nobody cares if you miss your flight because you did not hear the call of your flight. You will pay extra money. God saves your soul even if you are travel abroad and then your visa is out. You have to leave that very day. You are in problem with the immigration. So you can't be somewhere and then you will discard information. Somebody stand to give an information and then you are somewhere. Your mind is somewhere. Listen to every bit of information. It is important. That's why it's being announced. Once boom, that pre-announcement there, boom, at the airport, everybody will pay attention. If you don't, and that woman will just be going <laughs> You have to pay attention. She will, she will speak three times. Translation at times is going on on the information board. You can't mess up. You, you will miss flight and nobody will sympathize with you. Information is very, very important. Please and please, when we go to any public function, pay attention. That is wisdom. It is always announced in teeth and in English. Yet, other people will not pay attention and then they will just just come. Please and pray, please, we pray that you will not come here and then have a spiritual problem because you receive the body and blood of Jesus on one day. Please and please, when you come, always pay attention. We beg of you. Information is very important. Not just here. In any country, wherever you go and they are giving announcement, pay attention. When they are a will example. Mandiru Wisdom. Amen. Amen.